this is Angelina Bella, Fun Stampers Journey Coach number 90217. And I wanted to bring you a quick video showcasing our couple of our items. This is the Rosette Pinwheel Stencil. It's part of our Mixed Media Art Supply Sale. 20% um, off all our Mixed Media Arts. And I wanted to do a background for you. Here's what it looks like. I, I used some texture paste, some Journey texture paste, and I mixed it with the um, Journey Silk Sparkle. I can't seem to find my bottle of Sparkle right now because my craft room is such a mess and <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. So I did mix it up right here, you can see. And so I could get some Sparkle in there. And this one I used our new one of our new liquid colors, Rustic Rose. And that's this one right here. And this one I mixed the Rustic Rose and the Turbo Teal to make kind of like this purplish violet color. So what I'm gonna do in my video today is show you how to do this with the Turbo Teal. So let me see if my camera is showing. Yes, it's showing everything here. <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to take the already mixed te Journey Texture Paste with the sparkle in it. And you're going to put a teeny tiny little drop. You don't need to use a lot of color for this. So you don't want to waste it. And then you're going to mix it up like so. This is, like I said, the Turbo Teal Liquid Color mixed with our texture paste. And this is super easy, super fun. You can make card panels with it. You can use it on canvases, in your art journal, anything like that. So mix it up really good until you get the color that you're happy with. And now this is a big, like I said, this is the Rosette Pinwheel Stencil. It's a pretty big stencil. And you're going to pick a place on your stencil where you want the design to show. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And you just take your texture paste, I'm sorry, texture paste. And you place a little dollop on it like that. Make sure you're holding your panel down. You could tape this down if you want, but... This is kind of a small panel, so I didn't tape it down. And you just spread it out like so. Make sure you have enough of it and make sure it's even with the stencil so that you can get it all filled in there. You can see on some of my panels right here that I didn't make it even, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. You can use, you can do what you like with those. Really easy. Just scrape off all the excess. I love how that turbo teal color is. It's got like sparkle in it as well. I also wanna make sure that you shake it up really good before you use it. And that's pretty much it. Then you are going to release the stencil. You want to wash the stencil off, just like soapy water or even water or some of our um, you know, journey stamp cleaner will clean this off really well. You want to do that right away or else it's going to stick onto your stencil and not be very nice for the next time. So here's what my panel looks like. And here are the other two. Now, like I said, this is Rustic Rose. It's our liquid color Rustic Rose. Turbo Teal. You want to let that dry. Turbo Teal. And this one right here is both Rustic Rose and Turbo Teal colors, liquid colors, mixed together. So thank you for joining me today for this quick tip on how to use our stencils with our Journey Texture Paste, Journey Liquid Colors, and Journey Silk Sparkle. And if you would like to know more about our sale, go to my website at www.funstampersjourney.com backslash Angel Bella. For more tutorials, you can go to my blog, which is bellacreated.com backslash WP. And click like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.